very interesting guest we have on tap here on Let's Chat. Want to introduce you to a guy, former huge inline national speed skating champion who has turned artist. This is Corey Schuyler Juillard. Corey, good to see you. Nice to see you too. Uh, you are now into the field of modern movement art, which I guess explains this gizmo you have here in your hand. Tell me what this is. So, uh, quick rundown. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. I just started out with a camera. Right. And I was just going around filming anything and everything I could get my hands on. And in doing that repetitively, I saw that there was something else within what I was filming and what I like to call the realm of altered perception. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like I jumped into this rabbit hole of an imaginary world. And as things started to grow, I started to see that if I had multiple cameras, lighting attachments, I could start to change the things in which I was filming, and it slowly turned into an art form. That's a, a, it's an amazing story. Uh, how did you get into this whole, uh, most times you think art as far as a visual art is concerned, it's a still picture, mm -hmm. one image, yours is far from that. Well, when I was very young, I was always moving 30 or 40 miles an hour, mm -hmm. national champion inline speed skater. And when I was moving, I was always seeing all these colors and designs. And I didn't know it at the time, but I, I wanted to become a modern still artist, right. still art. And I had problems with my wrist because I had fractured it and broke it when I was speed skating. Right. And when I would paint, my wrist would get sore and I just couldn't do it. So I, I kind of got to the point where I was going to give up. But I saw an image of Pablo Picasso with a camera around his neck. And when I saw that, I thought, I'm going to go out and film stuff. Didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. But it turned into a new way in which to film things and create. And I, and I realized I could put this on a television screen and it could be streamed. And then I would have something that everybody could experience on a television, which we have today everywhere. You got a pretty big fan in Tom Zotos. And Tom, I'll let you tell us Tom's story. So Tom Zotos is a legendary pop artist. Mm -hmm. uh, he designed the highest grossing lithograph for Warner Brothers called Speechless. Right. It was uh, something that he developed in tribute to Mel Blanc, the voice of the Looney Tune characters. Yeah, one of my heroes. Yeah, and uh, when he saw the art, he definitively said it was a breakthrough in the world of art because nobody's doing this. And just to be clear, you had had no contact with him prior to this point. No, I didn't. And the, the interesting thing is, is that I didn't know what I was doing. That's the whole point of it. It was all trial and error, tr all experimentation. Mm -hmm. But through the persistence, I started to see things in a different way. Like when I look at your suit right now, I don't see a suit because I'm looking at it in a different point of view. You could right. be, it could be different colors. I can see designs in your tie. And the way in which I filmed that I could create something in modern movement art. It's incredible. When did you realize, what was the epiphany or the light bulb moment when you thought, I got this, I can do this, and I can make this something people want to see? I think the moment that I, I knew it was something special, there was, there's a specific art form that I did called Eternal Life, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, tribute to Lee Iacocca, and father of the Mustang. And it, when you see, it was, it was a Mustang. It was an old, rusted Mustang. That's the, that's the thing about it. It could be something that you would never expect. Never. And, and I just, I see that something in it. I look real close. And it was the designs and the colors in that. And when I saw it, it was so beautiful. And when I, when I, when I get into this emotional feeling when I'm filming, that's when I know. It's like, it's like the secret is the feeling. Mm -hmm. And once I get the feeling, I know that it's going to transmute when it's viewed on the television screen when other people view it. You have uh, been in town just a short while ago at uh, our friend Corky Coker's Car Museum, the Coker Car Museum, an incredible place. Why were you there? Corky's a great guy, by oh, the way. Oh, he is. He's it, super. It, it, I'm telling you, if you're going to experience an amazing museum, you have to go to the yeah. Coker Museum. You no have doubt. to go. Like, take your kids, take your family, you gotta go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, when I went there, everything for me is adventure. And when I went there, I just felt like experimenting, and I ran into a Chevy Camaro. 
Me personally, I love Chevy Camaros, oh, but, yeah. but I needed it for the art piece that I was doing on Paul Walker, mm -hmm. American Muscle. I needed a muscle car. And it was just, it was just happened to be there. It was just the designs and the colors and the hood of that vehicle. It had a blue stripe and it was white. And it, it, it captured my attention. And it, it was something that I needed to include in the art piece. Well, we look forward to seeing that and some of your other works. We can find that at Modern Movement Art, correct? ModernMovementArt.tv. ModernMovementArt.tv. It's been a pleasure talking with you. I hope you'll come back on our next Pass Through Town. Again, find out the work of Corey Schuyler Druyard, ModernMovementArt.tv. That's ModernMovementArt.tv. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Corey.